Hello friend, my name is Raza Masood. Today we will discuss about the topic depreciation. First of all, let me tell you that it's a very interesting topic and hope that you will definitely heard about this topic in uh, in meetings, in projects, uh, in projects and in high level meetings. So let's start our tutorial. We will discuss that what is basically depreciation. Uh, I would request to please subscribe to my channel and uh, also click on the bell option. So let's start. What is basically depreciation? Friend, large assets such as equipment, for example, cars, computers, laptops, uh, heavy machinery, all these uh, types of equipment has some life. For example, in few years. And with the passage of time, the uh, the asset basically lose their value <coughs> so in accounting standards this is called depreciation for example uh, if let me give an example that if you have a car and uh, it's nowadays its value is for example uh, seven thousand dollar but after 10 years with the passage of time the same value will not be maintained it will the car will lose its value after 10 years it will not be of 10 uh, it will not be of seven thousand dollar it will be having less value so with the passage of time every asset loses its value and this main concept is called as depreciation every asset for example car laptop house company factory laptops any type of asset is basically losing its value with the passage of time and uh, we can calculate the depreciation like after f five year or ten years what will be the value of this asset and remember one thing every asset has some value like you can say for example car is having a lifetime of 10 years lifetime means that the maximum how much it can serve how much it can survive how what will be its life so this is called the lifetime <coughs> so what is basically a depreciation depreciation means the asset which is basically losing its value with the passage of time so this is standard uh, this concept in terms of accounting is called as a depreciation friend uh, depreciation has two main types one type is straight line depreciation and the second one is accelerated depreciation so one by one we will discuss uh, both these types what is basically straight line depreciation a straight line depreciation means the same amount of depreciation is taken each year for example, a thousand dollar of an asset with a 10 year useful life will be depreciated at hundred dollar per year. So you can say for example, if you have a laptop of one thousand dollar and you can say that its value or its lifetime is 10 year. So after each year, you will deduct a thousand dollar from its value. So this is called as straight line depreciation in which the deducted amount of depreciation will be same like you are deducting hundred dollar each year. So this is called as straight line depreciation. A straight line means you are deducting the same amount like here in this case hundred dollar each. So the same amount you are deducting each year from the value of, a, of, of an asset. So this is called the uh, concept is uh, this concept is called as straight line depreciation and remember one thing here is another term salvage salvage means the value of an item at the end of its life when the item will be ending what will be its value what will be its uh, what will be its value at the time of ending its life this is called the concept of salvage so coming back to the main uh, a main point straight line depreciation a straight line depreciation means the same amount we will de uh, deduct from the value each year so this is called 
straight line depreciation you are deducting same amount of hundred dollar from each year of 10 year from thousand dollars so this is called as straight line depreciation now accelerated depreciation which was the second type of depreciation uh, accelerated depreciation has two types double declining balance and some of the years digits what is basically double declining balance double declining balance means the if you are deducting whatever the amount rate of amount you are deducting in a straight line depreciation you will double the amount in double declining declining balance for example here in this case uh, you were deducting hundred dollar in the straight line depreciation but in if you are uh, calculating the double declining balance so in that case you will double the ratio rate by 200 by double it so you in that in the double declining balance what you will do if an asset is having thousand dollar of an asset and lifetime of 10 years without any salvage value so you will detect two hundred dollar per year with no salvage value remember one thing in the straight line the rate of depreciation was hundred dollar again let me explain you double declining means if whatever the rate of depreciation you were using in the straight line depreciation in the double declining balance you will just double it just multiply it by two for example in the previous question we have seen in the straight line depreciation we were using hundred dollar per year the rate so in the double declining you are just multiplying it by two so the two hundred dollar per year you will deduct from thousand uh, dollar each year in the double declining balance just remember in the double declining balance you are just multiplying it by two or just double the rate of depreciation which were which you were using in the straight line depreciation okay are you following me are you getting my point now the next question uh, next point next type of accelerated depreciation is sum of the years digit friend it's a very easy concept remember one thing sum of the years digits means for example uh, it is a concept of accelerated depreciation uh, just remember if if an asset having value of five years okay so just sum the digits just sum the digit for example if you uh, uh, if the asset life is five years just double the digit means 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 it will become 15 5 what is 5 it is the lifetime of an asset so just sum the digits of the lifetime of an asset for example remember one thing that uh, for example the lifetime of an asset is 5 years so just sum the digits 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 it will be 15 then divide each digit with the sum of of the to determine the percentage and remember that the highest number will be year one <coughs> what does that mean let me explain to you first of all just remember just you need to know the lifetime of an asset lifetime of an asset for example here is five so what you do five plus four plus three plus two plus one it will be 15 now uh, starting from the highest value year one is will be 15 5 why it, it is the highest so 5 divided by 15 it will be 33 percent the rate of depreciation year 2 4 divided by 15 it will be 27 percent 3 year 3 3 divided by 15 it will be 20 percent year 4 2 divided by 15 13 percent year 5 1 divided by 15 it will be 7 percent what is basically th what is this it is the rate of depreciation which will be used so are you getting my point if you have any question please do ask from me i would love to answer your queries now uh, coming towards the pmp exam remember one thing in the pmp exam you will definitely see this topic of depreciation and you as a project manager or uh, uh, as you are giving the exam you definitely knows the concept of depreciation 
and you have should have a very good idea that what is basically depreciation and what are the types of depreciation you don't need to do any type of calculation mathematical calculation is not needed you just need to know the main concept and main idea of uh, depreciation and as a project manager uh, you should have the idea what is basically depreciation and how we are using in project selection methodologies and how we are using the calculation in depreciation so uh, as a project manager you should have the idea or concept of depreciation because it will be used in many ways in accounting in project selections etc so uh, with respect to PMP exam remember one thing you don't need to do any type of calculation you just have a good idea of uh, the method uh, the method or concept of depreciation and definitely you will see a uh, questions in exam related to project selections depreciation you will definitely see you see few example few questions and depreciation in the multiple choice options as well so friends uh, thanks a lot for your time and that's all from my side i hope you like this video if you have any question please do ask from me and comment uh, in the comment option you can ask from me i would love to answer your queries so thank you thanks a lot for your time and uh, that's all from my side